So when we talk about the pillars of Scrum, ladies and gentlemen, you know, the pillars of Scrum, there are three. And I want you to take note of this. It's transparency, inspection, and adaption, right? Transparency, inspection, and adaption are the pillars of Scrum. Transparency, making um, the communication um, open, right? Making things transparent across those different silos. Inspection, you're going to inspect what you expect, right? How can you have quality control if you're not performing it yourself as a leader? And adapting. You know, at the end of the day, the, every day is changing. Technology is being added. You have to be able to adapt. Because there's nothing more frustrating than getting a product to a customer and by the time you get it out the door and to the customer, it's obsolete or the customers are replaced it with new technology. So you have to be able to adjust. And like we talked about, Scrum's like flying in an airplane and building it along the way. Scrum is based on empirical thinking, right? Um, that lean methodology of reducing the waste in organizations, right? You know what I'm talking about when I talk about waste, right? Those wasted times with meetings, um, those non-value-added people in an organization that uh, create a lot more problems or heartache, you know, that causes waste in an organization. And, you know, who inherently... Uh, receives the cost of that, it, it's going to be the customer, right? So when we use Scrum, we also incorporate empirical thinking, which is lean methodologies. In a nutshell, the pillars of Scrum are transparency, what is seen, inspection, what's the quality, and adaption. How flexible are we in our process? When we put these pillars together, we can really create a change management audiology in an organization to create a continuous improvement that is not just sustainable, but also achievable.